screening and early detection saves lives because if we diagnose colon cancer at its earliest stages, we can cure up to 90% of individuals. Colorectal cancer is cancer involving the colon and rectum, also known as the large bowel. The good news is that we've seen tremendous advances and reductions in mortality over the last 10 to 15 years. Unfortunately, over the last five to 10 years, we've seen a significant increase in what's called early onset colon cancer, and that's colon cancer diagnosed under the age of 50. The most common symptoms include generalized weakness, fatigue, loss of appetite, weight loss, a change in either the color or consistency of stools, and abdominal pain and cramps. However, I think it's important to emphasize that a number of patients that we see will have absolutely no symptoms, and that's why really there's critical importance of early detection and screening for colon cancer. The number one risk factor is age, and specifically age greater than 50. Also, there's family history of colon cancer. There are a number of familial colon cancer syndromes, prior history of polyps or colon cancer, and inflammatory bowel disease, either Crohn's colitis or ulcerative colitis. There are two important misconceptions about colorectal cancer. I think the first is that if I don't have a family history of colon cancer, I don't need to worry about it. And as, we, as we've already discussed, age is the number one risk factor. The second misconception is that if one's a female, that there's a significantly reduced risk for developing colon cancer. But as we now know, the incidence of colon cancer is pretty much the same for males and females. Colon cancer screening and early detection is absolutely the best way to try to prevent and minimize the possibilities of colon cancer. For average risk individuals, the, the age at which screening should begin is at now at age 45. However, if one has a strong family history of colon cancer, then screening and early detection should begin much earlier. For example, yours truly, I had two uncles who were diagnosed in their early 40s with colon cancer. Unfortunately, both of my uncles passed away. And so starting since the age of 28, I've now had six colonoscopies. In addition to colon cancer screening, and again, starting at the age of 45, if one has any symptoms, one should go see their primary care physicians to start getting uh, tested and to get, live a good, healthy lifestyle.